up guys this is your girl CJ Johnson and today we're gonna do a video so that you can get to know me a little bit better and yeah we're gonna do 50 questions over things about me <laughs> okay let's jump right into this and the first question is I'm looking at my paper like I wrote them all down um, the first question is what's your name Cassandra um, my name is Cassandra, but I go by CJ because those are my initials. So, yes, I go by CJ. Um, I'm doing my questions outside, trying to catch the last little bit of light that is left outside. Because, um, yeah, it is it's dark inside. So, I was like, why not come outside? Um, number two, who is my biggest hero? My biggest hero is going to be. Hold on, let this car Um, my biggest hero is going to be my mom. Um, simply because I watched her um, be a strong woman and raise me and my brother by herself. And yeah, she just went through a lot in her life, and she stayed strong. And that's someone that I want to be. Um, the third question is, what is your biggest fear? Um, my biggest fear used to be losing my mom. Um, that's already happened and I can do a video over that, um, coming up pretty soon. Um, now I would say my biggest fear is going to be losing everything, like losing everything and having nothing like basically homeless like nothing that is my biggest fear i work two jobs to make sure that i have enough to like that i have to take care of the things that i need in life so yeah losing everything um question number four what is your favorite game or sport to watch or play? My favorite sport to watch is going to be football. <laughs> I bet you didn't think that, did you? My favorite sport to watch is football and my favorite team. I know I'm going to have some haters when I say this. My favorite team is Cowboy Nation, baby. Them Dallas Cowboys get them to the fullest. To the day I die, I'm a diehard fan. Yes, I am. And it's crazy because I could be like in the store or wherever it may be. Somebody say something about my cowboys. I'm turning around like, what you huh? You got what? You better drink crack yourself while I help you. Let me talk about my cowboys. And hey, hey, baby. <laughs> he is so freaking fun. Prop top all day, dude. <laughs> I love him. Like, that man is so good. Um, I had went to uh, Dallas with my cousin, and we went to the stadium. And the man, the man that was there at the door, opened the door. He um, he was sitting there, and I walked up to him. I was like, I'm here to see my husband. And he was like, um, Who's that? Can I close it? I was like, My husband. He was like, Who's that? I was like, um, Zeke. Big Zeke. He was like, he started laughing. He was like, oh yeah, for real. He ain't even here. <laughs> I was like, he here. He texted me. He told me, he said, baby, I'm here. I'm in the back. So I'm gonna need you to let me through. <laughs> it, but yeah, the man was just laughing at me and my cousin like so hard. Um, but it was, it was just, it was fun. Um, what question? Oh, my favorite sport to play would be basketball. We can get out on that court and we can hoop it up. I don't give a care. I will block your shot, steal your ball, shoot in your face. Um, question five. What did you want to be when you were small? When I was small in class, our teacher had us to write a paper on what we wanted to be when we grew up. And I was like, what the heck? Let me just, let me put it out there. I wanted to be an actress slash model. I did, but I grew up. 
<laughs> Question six, what is your favorite author? My favorite author is Toni Morrison, rest in peace. She just recently passed away. She has some good books, like page turners. Like, I, was, I just love her books. Um, question seven, would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job? I would say working at the perfect job because the perfect job to me is going to be like winning the lottery. It's going to be a job that I love to go to every day. Um, a job that I can lose track of time. I'm there way past my out time and I don't even care. Like I'm so immersed in my job that it just doesn't matter. Like I love it. Um, question eight. If money was no object, what would you do all day? If money wasn't an object, your girl would travel. I would travel and see the world. Um, a place that I would love, I keep looking at the sky because it looks like it's going to rain. So I'm trying to hear it and get this done. A place that I would love to go in my lifetime would be Africa. I would love to set foot on African soil. You don't know how much that would mean to me to like just step foot in Africa. Um, what question am I on now? Um, question nine. What is the best gift you have been given? The best gift I've been given is life. Life. Um, when my mom was pregnant with me, every time she went into a doctor's appointment, um, the doctor always tried to get her to abort me and she chose to keep me. So my mom had to listen to the doctors. I would not be here today, you know? So, the best gift I've been given in life is life. Um, question 10. Which is your favorite type of foreign food? Mexican food all day, baby. I love Mexican food. I love soul food. But, it's just like I get down with Mexican food. It's way harder. <laughs> tacos. I could eat tacos probably almost every day, bruh. Like, tacos are so good. I like ground beef tacos. I don't like, well, I never really tried chicken tacos or shrimp tacos, fish tacos. I've never really tried those. Um, question 11. Um, who was your first crush? My first crush was this guy, well, I should say this little boy, because I was a little boy. This little boy, his name was Matthew Robinson. I had such a crush on him. My diary is just filled up with stories from him from school and stuff. Uh, I remember I used to run home from school and I used to tell my mom, he talked to me today. He looked at me. We had to stand next to each other today. And my mom just looked at me like, baby, baby. <laughs> um, question 12, what was your first job? My first job that I ever had, I was a sacker at this grocery store called United. And I used to sack groceries there. Yeah, what a glorious job. <laughs> um, question 13. What two radio stations do I listen to in my car? Um, I listen to 104.9 The Beat. Um, they play a lot of hip hop, a lot of R&B, rap, all that stuff. Uh, little other music, you know, a little bit. Um, the other station that I'll listen to is 102.6, I think, a six or nine. Um, that's the white radio station, y'all. Like when they're playing a song on um, 104.9, then I'm like, I'm tired of hearing this. I don't want to hear it no more. Which 104.9, if y'all see this, y'all do repeat songs like hella lot, like over and over. And we're just like, I just heard this like an hour ago. But I'll switch over to that station. They have some good songs on there too. I listen to everything. Whether I understand what you're saying or not. If you sound good to me, I'm listening to you. Um, what's the next 
one. Question 14. If you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Cooking. <laughs> Your girls do not like to cook. I don't. I mean, I can do okay. I do my thing a little bit, you know. But I don't want to be up in that kitchen all day sweating and, and whatnot. I mean, sometimes I get in my moods where I'm like, Ooh, I'm finna get in there and cook today, bruh. But like I got to do when I finish this, I got a meal prep. So your girl trying to lose some weight. <laughs> What's the next question? I just don't want to talk about it no more. Question 15. List two pet peeves. Listen good. My first pet peeve is when I am talking, please do not talk. Don't interrupt me, that irritates my soul. The next thing that I do not like is my pet peeve. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I got serious. I hate that, like somebody can be talking, I can be talking to somebody. And if they're like looking away, looking at the phone, all over and stuff, and I'm just like, and I'll just, slowly stop talking and just stare at them and then sometimes I'll just walk away like and they're like why did you stop talking you weren't listening to me you was just looking all over the place and on your phone everything so that irritates the hell out of me if you want to irritate me do that and I'm gonna tell you 16 would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence I would rather trade my looks for intelligence. Your looks can get you so far in this world, but your mind, that mind up there can get you very far. So expand your mind, grow, and succeed in life. Because your looks and your body is not going to get you too far down the road. Because it's going to go. You're going to get fat, or you may get out of shape and stuff, and everybody's not going to be looking at you like, dang, she fine, dang, he fine. But if you smart, sometimes you can kill people with your, and you can get somebody with some intelligence. You can be like, dang, he's fine. He ugly, but he fine. Damn. Shit. That nigga go deep when he talks to you, and I like that. I really do like that. Um, 17. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh. <laughs> I struggle with being on time, y'all. Like, um, if I have to go to work in the morning, if I'm rushing, like, on top of it, not slowing around, it's going to take me about a good 30 to 40 minutes to get ready. But if I'm off and I just, I'm just going somewhere, I, it can take me up to two hours to get ready. <laughs> it really can. It can take me up to two hours just because... I'm procrastinating, so yeah. Crown outfit, don't like it, take it off. Try another one, don't like it, take it off. And trying to get my makeup set straight, you know? Um, but yeah, 40 to two hours. Sorry, whatever guy I'm with, I'm sorry, babe. I'm telling you right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> you gonna be ready sitting in the living room or wherever on the bed looking at me like dang girl is you ready yet no babe I'm not ready <laughs> okay um question 18 is there anything you wish you would come back would come back in fashion bell bottoms I love bell bottoms like a fitted pants which flares out to bell bottoms that is so cute that is so cute to me so I wish that would come back um, I'm kind of lighting. Oh, that's going. Um, question 19. What's the most annoying question that people ask you? Do you not want to be a mom? Do you want kids? I hate that. I have no kids. I would like to have, um, I would like to have some kids, but I don't have any kids. So what can I do? Um, question 20. What's the hardest lesson you've learned? The hardest lesson I've learned is to not be so nice to people. 
I've learned that in life a lot. I, My mom, growing up, she told me and my brother, treat people the way you want to be treated. Do unto others as you want done to you. And I kind of let that overrule me. I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. And I try to be as nice to people as possible. Like, I'm a nice person. I'm very understanding. I try to... Um, I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Give me a second. But I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. And that doesn't seem to work out. So the way I am now, what you give me is what I'm going to give you. Um, if it comes off blunt and ugly, oh well. Um... You didn't care about my feelings, so why should I care about yours? And people have started telling me I'm mean. I'm rude and mean. Oh, well, get over it. Like you want me to. Um, one second, I'm going to have to change my lighting because it's getting hella dark and that is not cool. Okay, I am back. I had to change my lighting. I'm still outside. I have some light though. Um, what question did I do? Question 20. Question 21. Are you a morning or night person? Most of the time I'm a night person. It's like I get energy at night sometimes and I'm just up and I'm like, ooh, you need to go to sleep. Take your black ass to sleep. But yeah. Um I forgot what question I'm on. Twenty-two. Are you afraid of the dark? Sometimes I am. My grown butt will still sometimes if the light is off in my bedroom. I'll flip the light off and sprint to my bed and jump. <laughs> I literally, I will. I will I will jump into bed and pull the covers up like this. Like, oh. <laughs> um, question, I think, 23. Are you an extrovert or introvert? It depends on my mood. Sometimes I can be like, oh, I want to go out and do something. I want to get out. And other times so I'm just like... I'm great within the four walls of my home. I'm great. <laughs> um, question 24. Are you double jointed? Your girl is not. But it's amazing how if you touch the right way, they can get flexible. What <laughs> about stupid? No, I'm not. Are you left or right handed? I am right handed. Typical. Um, 24. Five, are you more of an tidy person or a messy person? I'm a little bit of both. Next question. Are you on time or always late? We've been over this. Your girl is 97% late. Um, next question. Are you ticklish? I am ticklish. <laughs> I am really ticklish, y'all. Like, my kneecaps are ticklish. My elbows are ticklish. I'm ticklish. Um, next question. Can, can you curl your tongue? No. Oh, I thought I saw something. Um, next question. Can you ice skate? No, I cannot ice skate, but I would love to see if I can. I'll probably break an ankle, sprain a knee, sprain an ankle, something. Um, can you wiggle your ears? I cannot do that. Who wiggles ears? My uncle used to wiggle his ear. <laughs> so I guess him. Um, I'm trying to adjust the lights. Um, the next question is um, coffee or tea if I had to choose it would be coffee iced coffee thank you um, cookies, cake, or donuts if I had to choose I'm not really a cookies, cake, or donuts girl but if I had to choose from these 
it's gonna be donuts glazed donuts please um in cookies they have to be the soft chocolate chip cookie or the oatmeal raisin um cake i really don't care for cake so um i get married we haven't uh we haven't done it um the next question did you ever participate in a talent show no i did not um 15 did you go to prom i did go i went to my senior prom um i was asked to go to senior prom but the guy that asked me i didn't like him so i was like no and i just went with friends um did you like school i did like school i probably liked it for the wrong reasons i liked it because i could go to basketball practice and chill with my friends yeah um next question uh do you like i mean do you believe in ghosts i don't know i'm not gonna say yes i'm not gonna say no um next question do you bite your nails i don't bite my nails boo what's wrong with you What's up? That, i just look at people when they bite their nails and i want to slap them anyway like stop hey why are you biting your freaking nails i hate that um do you consider yourself a good cook am i right i told you i might um do you enjoy dancing <laughs> if we go out somewhere you get the right amount of alcohol in me i'm be uh grooving on you yes we gonna dance gosh y'all I apologize for this, but it is so dark out here. Let me see if I can do something to help this. Wow. <laughs> he said, let there be light and there's light. <laughs> Dang, I should have did this like a uh, whole couple minutes ago, right? Um, Sorry for those questions where it was like, dark sorry i'm new at this i'm trying okay next question um do you enjoy diys or crafts actually i do sometimes i do i do i get in the mood to do that um do you forgive easily i forgive but i never forget i want you to know that i will not forget it would always be in the back of my head what you did and how you made me feel. Um, I just learned to accept it, for better words. I learned to try, I try to learn to accept it. Um, but yeah, I do forgive, but I don't forget. Depending on what it is, I'm not forgiving you. Um, the next question is, do you have a nickname? CJ. <laughs> uh, when I was little my nickname was Red my uncle called me Red because I was like really light skinned when I was little I was a red bone when I was little when I was born I looked my other uncle he thought I was half three I was so light um, growing up and then the sun got a hold of me and voila <laughs> I got chocolate um Next question, do you have allergies? I do have allergies to dust um, and seasonal allergies. Um, next question, do you have any phobias? Yes, I do. I have a phobia of spiders. That phobia is out of control. I will cry, I will shake, I freeze up. Um, Sometimes I can't breathe, my asthma comes down on me. Um, if I think it's on me, I'm running and I, I'm possibly stripping. So, yes. I, uh, and it's like I have a spider sense. Spider sense. Um, I can feel like it's a spider somewhere in the area. And it's got me looking now. Like, I can feel like there's a spider somewhere close around in this vicinity. 
I might not see it that day, but I will see it within the next couple days. That is true. Um, what's the next question? Do you have any piercings and tattoos? Um, I don't have any tattoos, but I do have piercings. It's pierced twice in my lower lobe. Um, I would like to get another one. I want one a barbell through here, and I would like this part pierced in my ear. I also want a tattoo, probably a couple. Um, do y'all think I should get my nose pierced? Like seriously, do I, would I look cute with my nose pierced? Oh, on this side, my right side. Should I get a, a small stud? Comment below if I should get my nose pierced. Um. Next question, do you have any kids? See, I get this question a lot. No, I don't have any kids. Well, if you count, you count my dog as a kid, yeah, I have a fur baby. Um, he's so cute. <laughs> um, do you have any siblings? I do have siblings. I have a brother that I grew up with my whole life and I have a half sister and a half brother that I have never met before. Um, next question, do you prefer dogs or cats? I prefer dogs all day. I don't like cats. I'm little evil suckers. Um, next question, do you prefer Mac or PC? I've never used a Mac, so PC, I suppose. Um, next question, do you prefer beach or mountains? I would say beach. I want, I've never been to the beach, but I want to go to the beach so that I just to have that experience to say I've been to the beach and I've dipped my toes into that ocean. Um, ooh, I'm not going to tell y'all. <laughs> um, do you smoke? No, I do not smoke. Smoking's bad for your health, and why would I smoke and I have asthma? Um, do you sing in the shower? I absolutely do sing in the shower. Um, I do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that was question 50. Do you sing in the shower? I do. Do you sing in the shower? If you sing in the shower, comment below. Um, and I have a question for you guys. Um, please comment below. If there's anything that I didn't answer for you please comment below and I would happily answer that question for you and what I want to do now is thank you so much for taking time out to listen to my video and watch it um, please comment rate and subscribe to my channel like I said I am a new youtuber and I'm trying to get going so please support your girl that is CJ Johnson please support me and like I said, thank you so much for watching. Love you.